Okay, welcome back. So in this section now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hook up our audio box USB to our computer. And we're also gonna connect our speakers. If you're someone who has the ultimate uh, studio bundle package, you got your two uh, speakers here uh, as well. And we're gonna hook those up and uh, show you how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna start with our audio box USB. So on the audio box USB, before we hook anything up, there's a couple of things we wanna do. First thing we wanna do is on the back where the USB connector is, you may have a label that's covering that, uh, that connector and it'll ask you to remove the label. So go ahead and remove the label, I've already done that. And when we flip it around to the front here, let's take a walk through the front of the audio box USB so you see what you have here. So over here on the uh, left of the unit, we have our two combo jacks uh, one and two we have two inputs that can either be with an xlr cable which we'll do in a later section as well as an instrument cable to plug in an instrument cable which we'll talk about again in a later section next to that we have our 48 volt phantom power switch we want to make sure for this section that that is not pressed in that it is pressed outward so we're not uh, we're not activating the 48 volts then we have our two uh, level input control gain control for input one and input two let's make sure those are turned all the way down counterclockwise. Then next to that we have a mixer uh, uh, encoder here. We want to turn that all the way down. We have our headphone jack, our headphone level we want to turn all the way down, as well as our main outputs for the volume going to our speakers. We want to turn that all the way down as well. So everything should be turned down. 48 volts should be uh, uh, not pressed in, so we don't activate that. On the back of the unit here, we have uh, just a few areas we have to talk about. We have the USB connection, which we're going to do now. We're going to connect our USB cable to this, and that is going to go straight into the input on our computer. And keep in mind that when you hook up any audio interface, you don't want to plug the USB into a USB hub. Rather, you want to plug it directly into the computer if you can. You'll get better performance that way, for sure. Um, then we have two MIDI uh, jacks in and out here, which we're not going to use in this section but this is for hooking up a MIDI uh, controller device if you had one. We do have our main left quarter inch left and right outputs that are going to go to our speaker which we'll talk about in a second and then lastly we have our headphone jack which we'll use a little bit later in the in this series. So the first thing we want to do is hook up our USB cable. So on my USB cable here that came with your package I've already plugged it in directly into my laptop on one end not into a hub and then I'm going to connect the other side here like so real simple. When you do that you're going to see the power light uh, turn on. There is no power supply with the audio box USB. It is powered by the USB cable, which is nice to have one less cable you have to deal with, right? Second thing we're going to do is we're going to plug our left and right cables that came with our package, our two speaker cables here, that came with our package. These are TRS or tip ring sleeve cables. We want to plug one into the left output and one into the right output. Okay, so the only thing that you should have plugged in at this point is your USB and your two speakers. Turn this back around, we'll set it on the table, and now we're gonna plug our speaker cables into our actual speakers. So now, if you have the two speakers here uh, that came with the package, we're gonna hook those up. If you don't have these, and you don't have studio monitors, you don't need to worry about this piece of it. You could just plug your headphones, if that's how you're gonna monitor what you're recording and what you're listening to. You could just plug your headphones into the back of the audio box USB, and you'll control the level of those headphones with the, with the encoder on the front here, okay? But for you, for people that have the speakers here. Let's grab the speaker that actually has the volume control on the front of it. Um, and it has uh, an, an auxiliary input here and also a headphone input here with a power switch. We want to make sure the power switch is in the off position, okay? On the back of that speaker, we have a few connectors here, a few connections. The first thing you're going to see is you're going to see up here in the top right hand corner um, speaker connectors, uh, red and black for positive and negative. The speaker cable that came inside of your package is going to go red to red, black to black. And that is going to be connected to the other speaker. The other speaker has these same two connectors on it and only those two connectors. So that'll be hooking the two speakers up, okay? However, also on this speaker, we have the, the quarter inch input left and right. So from the audio box where we plugged in the cables, the other ends are just going to plug into those two like this, okay? We also have a power cable that you want to make sure you plug in and plug into the wall. And over here we have this, uh, this uh, acoustic tuning, these two knobs, high and low. For now, just keep them at the 12 o'clock position. That's where they come uh, set from the factory. It's really just so you can add a little bit more uh, high end or a little bit more low end, uh, depending on where you're putting these speakers and your mixing environments is gonna be a little different from mine. So you may want to adjust those, but for now, just keep them at 12 noon. Once you have that all set up, 
you pretty much now have everything, get all your cables out of the way, obviously, manage all your wires, um, and now we have our interface, our audio box, hooked up to our two speakers. Our audio box is hooked up to our computer now, and in the next section, what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch Studio One for the first time. Now that you've installed it, we're gonna configure and make sure that Studio One sees our audio box interface, and then we're gonna jump into some recording. So come on back for the next section.